What's up you guys? It's Molly. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Molly and I'm a current freshman at the University of Alabama and today's video is one I am very excited about. It is part of my Rush series for you guys in preparation for this year's primary recruitment at the University of Alabama. Um, It's all about resumes, rec letters, things like that that I know are very confusing and there's not a lot of information out there for these and I know it was one thing that I was very confused about especially given the fact that I had no idea what sort of recruitment even was prior to going so I definitely wanted to make this video for you guys so you guys have a resource to go to when you are getting confused about these types of things and I'm going to answer some questions that you guys have had on my Instagram and things like that about this topic so that is what we're going to do today I'm super excited about it and I really hope this video helps you guys out in any way that it can so yes I hope you guys enjoy this video so let's jump right into it okay so I compiled a list of the questions you guys asked me on my phone so we're going to jump right into those the first question is what kind of preparation should be made for rush so when you sign up for recruitment on the panelinic website i'll put the panelinic website right here in case you haven't done that yet um you submit things like your resume a photo of you um and things like that and all of that um is probably i would say the first step of your preparation for rush i'll get into the specifics of your resumes a little bit later and the headshot as well but that is the first thing that you really do and that is something that goes through panelinic so it gets sent out to all the sororities in the beginning anyway um that's a point i really did want to make because a lot of people do send like a packet like a physical packet with everything printed to individual sororities some sororities don't want that some people some sororities only want things sent online but some don't really mind it and they'll take it if you send it i did not send any physical packets to any house i did everything online just to give you guys some perspective so if you see girls doing that that is great and that's awesome if you guys are doing that but don't feel like you have to i did it things worked out fine for me so that is something really important to keep in mind and then the other prep that we will get into obviously later on in this video are rec letters and basically rec letters are when people that are alumni or in a, the same sorority at another campus can write you a letter um, just kind of recommending you for their chapter and why you'd be a good fit so that's basically in the grand scheme of things what a rec letter is the next question is did you send in the fancy packages with your rec letters like I just said the answer to that is no I did not send any packets like printed to any individual houses a lot of girls did and I was kind of daunted by that to be honest because I felt like I was doing the wrong thing but you can send everything online like panel when you send in your resume and your headshot like every house has it so you don't need to send it again but some girls do just to make sure they have everything physically all together which is great but I did not do that so that's just something to keep in mind the next question is are rec letters required so technically no but they're recommended I would recommend them to you guys so they recommended one to two per house I tried to do that some I didn't have any and it really wasn't a big deal because if you are going through recruitment and you like a house and a house like you and invites you back that you don't have a rec letter for if you get far enough in the rounds they will write you a letter um if they need one for you to get a bid basically so if you are able to get rec letters i would highly recommend it at least trying regardless um but if you can't get letters for a certain house don't stress too much over it i didn't have letters for three or four houses maybe and it was completely fine so that's just something to keep in mind the next question i just kind of touched on a little bit but the next question is did you have a letter for every house i did not have a letter for every house um i really only was able to get letters um from certain houses because I do live in Pennsylvania a lot of people went to state schools here and some of the chapters that Alabama has aren't offered here um, so it kind of just kind of depended on who I could find I did find a few people from the south but I did not have a letter for every house don't feel the pressure to like I just said the next question is how many letters should I get so you can get as many as you want um like I said I kind of just sent letters based on what I could find but if you find someone in one sorority and you find like three people if you want three letters to go to that house do that um they recommend one to two but I would say probably don't go more than like three or four because that's kind of redundant I feel like I never really went above three but that's just something to keep in mind I would probably say no more than like four because that's kind of a lot the next question is one I got a lot and it is what if I don't know anyone who's been in a sorority so a lot of people have dm'd me asking me this question and I've given them an answer but if you guys have not dm'd me and needed this answer here it is what I did for asking people basically for rec letters was I posted on Facebook and on my Instagram story and I think my mom posted this little thing I made I'll put it right here it was a screenshot from my notes I like typed it all up I just said like hi I'm Molly I'm going through primary recruitment at the University of Alabama next year and there are 17 houses and I need some rec letters for them so if you know anyone or you personally were in said sorority like please contact me if you're interested in writing me a letter my mom got a lot of responses because obviously her Facebook page has a lot of girls and a lot of moms who know other moms or know moms who have daughters who are in sororities and things and it kind of is just like a word of mouth type of thing um which is really really nice honestly and I got a lot of letters to that 
which was really really great and even people from like her work that I've never met had daughters that were willing to write me letters it's just like a really nice thing so it's honestly really really nice and I will say so when you have someone that wants to write you a letter like if you do this method that I basically did and you don't know them very well and they don't really know much about you but obviously they're taking time out of their day to write you a letter um, if you can't meet with them if they're too far away from you or anything like that I would recommend just sending along your resume and your photo like you would have done to submit for Panhellenic for rush registration um, just so they have kind of that sheet for things that you've been involved in and they can base it off of that which I think is really awesome and that's what I did they all really appreciated it and just be so so thankful that they're taking time out of their time and their day to write you a letter because it's honestly a really great thing and then the next question which I did touch on a little bit earlier um, is did you have a rec letter for your sorority yes I did but mainly the reason that it was easy for me to get one for my sorority is because my mom was a Pi Phi so it kind of made it easy for me um, but going into recruitment I had no idea if I was going to go Pi Phi um, and I was kind of wondering if I didn't have the right thing submitted for other houses but just go along with rush like don't count out a house because you don't have a letter for it they need a letter of recommendation for you to get a bid they'll do that don't worry about that I had like I said I think I had two maybe three letters sent to Pi Phi through me but that was just because of the connections I had prior to rush the next question is a big one that I definitely want to touch on for a good portion of this video and it is what should I have on my resume so I just want to put this out there that a lot of girls do the very creative resumes and that's amazing if you want to put the time and effort in to make it look great do that if you want it to be like the traditional style resume that is totally okay it is whatever you want um, but what you should have physically on your resume um, your GPA um, test scores I feel like would be good if you're in any like national honor societies or like a language national honor society any sports you've done clubs in school if you've created your own club outside of school mention that if you're really into photography mention that just put any activities you do consistently I put a lot of different things on my resume for rush obviously I've edited it since then so I do not have it um, but I remember pretty much it was just like my test score where I'm from my phone number my social media all the clubs that I did in school any community service that I did any like service projects I took on on my own because I did do a lot of that I put YouTube on there things like that that are really really important that you think would showcase your personality best I definitely encourage you guys to put those on there um, because that's really important and the chapter wants to see your personality a little bit prior to recruitment as well so that is definitely a really important thing to consider um, and I would also take time to edit it and make sure you have good descriptions of everything too that might make you stand out a little bit more prior to recruitment like college admissions like I would think of it that way like you really want to make yourself stand out and look unique even from a first glance so that is what I recommend for what you should have on your resume the next question is what should legacies do if they are a legacy for a house so I actually went through this because my mom was a pie fi like I mentioned um, so basically Basically, most houses have an online legacy form you can fill out. Well, not you personally, but like your family member that was in the sorority. And um, they'll just go in and fill it out and put where you're rushing and everything like that. And it gets sent to the house. So that's what we did. The next question is, do you have to send a picture in your packet? So like I said, I didn't send my own packets, but I did send my headshot in with my registration for recruitment. I just used a senior photo. If you have a senior photo that you guys think is good to send in for rush, do that. Um, if you have ones from other pictures, you've taken that is like appropriate and cute do that whatever picture makes you feel most comfortable that you love I would send that photo in if you are sending packets I would send the photo along with it just so everything is in one place but if you're not again it's no big deal the next question is can someone who doesn't know you well write you a letter and this is what I touched on when we started talking about rec letters a little bit earlier yes somebody can do that I would definitely send along some sort of typed up thing whether it is your physical resume or if you just send a little blurb about yourself and just like bullet points and activities whatever you really need to do email back and forth with them whatever you think is best um those are a bunch of different things that i did when i was communicating with the people writing my rec letters so that is definitely a way you could do it yes someone can write you a letter if they don't know you um and i think it's also good for you to reach out to people even if you don't know them because it shows your interest in their chapter and it makes those people excited to write you a letter that you are interested enough to have a rec letter written for their sorority so that is the answer to you with that question my last question for this video is an important one so you guys definitely should know this it is where do you send the rec letters? My answer to that is you do not physically send the rec letters to the houses. The people that write you the letters send them themselves, whether it is via mail or online. I've had a mix. Um, I will say though, if you are having someone write you a letter 
via mail and they're sending it via mail I would send them things in the mail including like stamps and everything so they don't have to pay for it themselves um, and just extend your gratitude to them so much because they're doing all of this work for you basically taking time out of their day to do that which is really really sweet of them so I would definitely say that yeah so that takes a little bit of stress off of you guys during this time you don't have to worry about sending them out yourself all the people that write your rec letters do that themselves okay you guys that is everything for my rush preparation video all things sorority rec letters and resumes I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give this video a big thumbs up hit the subscribe button down below be sure to follow me on all my social media my Instagram Twitter all of that so you guys can stay updated on my life so yes I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time